iconic original six franchises, the second most cups in league history, were in Toronto, the home of the Leafs. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Zuccarello. Passes it in front, and that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Toronto's got the puck along the boards, and that pass doesn't go. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. And sends it just out of reach. And now it's grabbed by Provorov. Nice pass. Toronto's looking to break out. The Leafs take it from the side. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Grubauer. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. And that's off target as it hits a body. Love save made by Grubauer. Turned like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. And finally, they get it out of their own end. And here they go in transition. Gunther's got it on the offensive end. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Toronto's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, the crossbar. What a shot. Johnson's got to be thinking, what do I have to do to get a break? He scores! And this place was rocking already! Boy, they even got more rocking. Man, they were pumped after the anthem. Now they get a good first shift and an early goal, and they're up one. The Leafs were preaching good start. Mission accomplished so far. Yeah, you can preach it all you want. You've got to execute it. And they came out as aggressive as they possibly could be, and they capitalized early. Quick pass to Paling. Here's a short pass to McMichael. Huge blocker saved by Grubauer. And does it again. Great positioning. Once he makes that first save, he's got to be in position to make the second. Well done. Van Riemsdyk's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Truva's got it behind his own net. Puck scooped up by Paling. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Puck grabbed by Cahoon. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Hey, get that personalized jersey you've always dreamed of wanting to. You finally saved enough money for it. Check out the team store just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Takes the feed from the wing. And he regains control of the puck. And that goes off a player. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Petrangelo's trying to change a few things up. This pointless streak is starting to nag at him. Shesterkin's great in the butterfly position, guys. And even when he's down, he maintains mobility to move with the play to make the save. That's his butterfly effect zone ability. Puck picked up by Peak. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Scores! And they've even the score! Even though they've been behind, James, I think they've played a pretty good game here. They haven't let the game escape from them. They haven't chased it. Now they've got the equalizer, and they've got the momentum. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. Still lots of time left here in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Sends it in on the attack. Murphy's got it in the defensive end. Slides it over with pace to Forster. He's got a step. Big time stop on the break. Goalie came out, matched the shooter's speed, and shut down the chance. Puts it just wide of the net. From his own end, he picks up the puck. And he elects to play the puck. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Both teams readying here for the face-off. Benito's won it in their own end. Nieto. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Poked away at center by Tanev. The Leafs take it along the wall. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. 
Looking for space inside the D zone. All alone! Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. He looks deep to Marodi. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Taken by McMichael. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. This is a big draw for him. His players were a little tired around him. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Cutting to the front of the net, and he easily stops that one. As he slides in the butterfly, he's in great shape to make this save. Jabs the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Van Riemsdyk. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. Here's the pass! And the goalie covers up for the whistle. More than half the period has expired. We got a tie game. Hurdles won the draw here in the offensive zone. Played big in the moment there. Points depended upon greatly by his teammates. He's one of the stars of this team and needs to produce night in and night out. Shesterkin's rock solid between the pipes. He can bail out his team and give them a chance to win on a nightly basis. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Crowd's buzzing, ready to get things back underway, and I think the officials are too. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Can't catch up to the pass. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Moves it around along the half wall. Directs it on over to Burns. Sends it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. The Leafs take possession in the neutral zone. On the attack along the boards. Wrist shot from the slot. Puck scooped up by Van Riemsdyk. Look out, here they come on the attack. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to Pugliarvi. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Taken by Miller. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Centering feed. Oh, and he keeps it here. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Shesterkin. Takes the pass. Quick feed to Pugliarvi. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Sends it into the offensive zone. Murphy's lugging the puck. Quick pass to McMichael. Puck grab by Lynn. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Benino. Moves it quickly over to Peak. Minnesota's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Quick pass over to Poulain. Toronto's got it in their own zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lynn. The Leafs are across the line and into the offensive end. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. Nice zone entry from the left. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Takes the feet at the back end. Handles the pass. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Shesterkin. The Leafs gain the zone. Takes the feet at the point. Hurdles swinging the puck through center ice. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Leafs will play it from the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Greenway. Great experience. 
tension on his part to poke it away. Here's the chance on the attack. Puts it on net. Shesterkin's gonna cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Here in the late going of the frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Minnesota's won the draw. Wow, what a stop by Shesterkin. Here's a short pass to Johnson. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Point. And now he tries to get it across to Greenway. Puck picked up by Van Riemsdyk. From the neutral zone now. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Centering feed! Scores! What a finish on the play! Now up by one, what's the strategy from here on in? It's to attack. There's no defending a one-goal lead with over two periods left. Go get another one. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Puts the puck in. Moves it to Petrangelo. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Hammers a shot. Oh, and comes up with a stop. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Ray Ferraro is down at ice level, and he gives us his own assessment of the opening 20 minutes. Razor? Minnesota's puck work in the first period left a lot to be desired. They were sloppy when they turned it over. They want to be a little smarter, a little more sure with the puck here in the second period. Quick feed to Pugliarvi. And he takes the pass. And he takes a shot. That's blocked by Grubauer. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. With some open space at center. Minnesota's got the puck here in the open ice. The Wild have it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Greenway's back on the ice here. He's had a big night offensively. He's got a couple of points so far. Slides it over to Petrangelo. Gains the zone through center. Quick pass to Van Riemsdyk. Taken along the wall by Burns. He carries the puck up along the wing. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Tries to the crease. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Steps into the offensive end. That goes wide. Uh, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Gunther's picking up steam. The Leafs carry it along the wall. Routine save made by Grubauer. And that's intercepted by Greenway. Denies him again. Job's not done till the job's done. I mean, one save, not enough. Got to make another one, too. It's peppered with a couple of consecutive shots. Takes the feed. Toronto's going on the attack as they gain the zone. McMichael's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Let's see the call here. Oh, the players frustrated there. You can see going to the penalty box, knowing they're down a goal, this is not helping at all. their penalty kill is ranked toward the bottom of the league. It's something they've been actively working on to improve. And, you know, with the confidence that they showcase, they might be able to turn this thing around and shut down this power play right now. Moves it quickly over to Petrangelo. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. The one-timer! The nice of in front! Let's go! Toronto's 
is now gone up by a pair in the second. So they've got a two-goal lead. Some people say it's the worst lead in hockey. Well, guess what? I'll take the worst lead as opposed to trailing by two. Yeah, you know what's better than down by two? Being up by two, right? Of course it is. Simple. The Leafs are on the attack. The Wild have the puck against the boards. And they come up with possession off that battle. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Picked up along the wall by Forster. There's the whistle stopping the play. Well, this is one way to protect a meal ticket. Yeah, you gotta jump in there. There's no way he's gonna take that fight invitation. Someone's gotta step up for him. Oh, and he caught him right there, and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not gonna go to the judges. As always, the guys are up banging their sticks on the board. A little more energy from the visiting team as their guy won the decision. You can see the shoulders just hanging a little bit lower here on the bench. Well, this game has new life breathed into this building tonight after what we just saw moments ago, but we still got a game to play. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Toronto's in now. Quick feed down low. Can't get a hold of that pass. Glenn Denning stick handling in his own zone. Good stand up hit. Here's a feed in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Devastating collision against the wall. Toronto's got the puck. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. From the back of the cage with the puck. Toronto's playing it from the side. Grabbed along the board by DeKaiser. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Toronto's game tonight has been really good. I like the way they've played. And while they have the lead, James, it could be much bigger if they would have had a little more luck around the net. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Toronto's got a 3-1 lead. The Leafs win it. Back to the blue line. Traps that puck tight to his chest. Moves it on over to Nieto. Smart defensive play there. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. From the open ice, they gain the line. Moves it to the middle. Off the pipe. Slides it to Perry. And the puck leaves the zone. Slick feed. Takes control of the puck. Oh, a slick stop by Grubauer. Good save. Positional save through traffic. A chance in front. He scores! What a play! The Leafs continue to pour it on here in the back half of this second period, Ray. All they want to do is get this to the intermission in the shape they're in. They're very comfortable now. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck off the draw. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Through center. And he slides it quickly to DeKaiser. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Hangs onto the puck. Greenway's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Oh, what a big time stop by Grubauer. Well, the coaches are always working on following and tracking the puck. He stopped one. Now you got to stop the second. Sends a pass over. And now it's grabbed by Greenway. And he denied that opportunity. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. The Leafs will play it from the point. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Poked away in the neutral zone by Gunther. Skates to the crease. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Moves the puck to Zuccarello. My goodness, what a save by Shesterkin. The play continues. He makes a save but keeps it alive as the puck's in the corner. Manages to hang on. Takes a shot. Gets in front of it. Carries the puck up through center. The Leafs have it from their own end. Minnesota's regained possession of the puck. 
Zuccarello's crossed the line and gained the zone. There's the collision. Dishes it to point. Breakaway. Centering feed. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Maintains possession. Puck scooped up by point. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Shesterkin's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Nothing doing on that. Here's a short pass to Pugliarvi. Oh, a true warrior to block that. And that's broken up. Scooped up along the wall by Bertuzzi. Made the stop on the play. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Takes it at center. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. And a stick breaks that up. Snaps it on net. Oh, a clutch save. Here's a chance behind the net. From the side. Big time stop by Grubauer. Those bang bang plays are just that. So quick. Puck on the stick, puck off the stick. The goalie's got to be in the right position or they're not going to make that quick save. And now it's over to Tanev. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Toronto's dominance tonight can be attributed to the way that they played positionally. They've smothered the game, and they are way out in front. Well, this crowd is into it, and I'll tell you what, this has been an ongoing story for a while now with the attendance. It is, James. It doesn't just happen, though. The marketing people do their job. They get people interested in it. The guys on the ice do their job. Now people come and have fun, and you look around, and there's not a seat anywhere. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Takes it to the net. Fantastic save. And he keeps possession. A chance in front. Misses. Into the corner of the attacking area. And that's taken by the defense. Keeps hold of the puck. And there's the save. And nearing the final minute of the second, the Leafs gain possession in their own end. Moves it to Johnson. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Quick feed to McMichael. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. From behind the net. Here he is, wrestling on net. And that's blocked in traffic. And he takes the feed. Moves the puck. That brings period number two to an end. Uh, the ice resurfacers coming out onto the ice. They'll give it a little cleaning, and I can see Ray Ferraro down there between the benches tap dancing. I can only imagine where he needs to go. Third period, just around the corner. It's about to go down, period number three. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. With play underway here in this third period, we take it down to ice level in our own Ray Ferraro with his thoughts. Minnesota's got to get their boots dirty a little bit here. They haven't had the puck enough. It's like they're around the perimeter of the game, but not inside it. Go get it, hold it, drive it to the net. It's the way back into the game. The Leafs have it behind the cage. Feeds it over to Pugliarvi. Toronto's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Here's a shot. Tremendous stop by Grubauer. And here's the pass to Zuccarello. Let's it go. That's gloved by Grubauer. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Here they come on the attack down the right side. The Leafs have it against the wall. 
Good fight for the puck along the boards. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Leafs have it now. Stays with it. Pugliarvi's picking up momentum through center. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Picked off. Shesterkin's going to pounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Leafs lead at 4-1. Taken by DeKaiser. And now he angles it across to Gunther. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop by Shesterkin. He swallows that puck up as he slides across in the butterfly to make the save. Quick pass to Johnson. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Puck dumped in and the forwards are going to skate off. Cutting to the slot. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Feinberg's not going to escape the boos tonight. They're all over him after he scores! And it gets right back to him, and he puts it home. Minnesota's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. It gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. Palings won the draw inside the neutral zone. Peaks tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Let's get the call here. A little bit of a careless play with the stick, and the trippy call is made. one set again James we've seen it before the key is that you get movement once you're set up once you get possession the net front has to be taken care of and that's where you create the chance nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck here's a chance oh much respect as he blocks that one and cut that one out of the net it's in the back of the net but it's not going to count as the whistle goes before the puck went in Colton's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Leafs win the faceoff. And that goes... Something happened in the offensive zone. And that carries off a stick. Moves it quickly over to Greenway. Grabs the puck at center. Oposo's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Let's get the official decision. McMichael's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. Well, the face-off, of course, is pretty critical. You're not going to have as many scrums four-on-four, four, so if you get the puck first, you're going to get it and hold it. Shesterkin's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Toronto's been the better club as they hold a 4 Sight of the puck to make the second save. Thank you, keep it a minute. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. A little gypsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. He tries that extra move. I mean, sometimes it's okay, sometimes you've got to just push the puck a little deeper. Now he's got a chance. Grubauer. Tanev's crossed the line and is on the attack now. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. 
They go on the attack through center. Sends the pass in front. And that's intercepted. The Wild have the puck on the attack. Centering feed. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Toronto's in on the offensive attack now. Fires it on net. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Grubauer somehow able to make this save. I, I think from my position that this is going in the net. But he gets just enough of it. Set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. Once you get the puck on four on four, just don't give it up. You've got space. Use it. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Sends the pass over. Handles it along the blue line. Takes the shot. And that carries off a body in the lane. And that's turned aside. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Takes it in front. Cuts to the front. And just gets a piece of that one to keep it out. What a stop. Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there. Gets the pad flat to make the save. McMichael's got it across the line. Along the half wall with the puck. Sends it in front. Shot. Nieto's on the attack in the offensive zone. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Oh, he got it. It's a short-handed goal. As soon as that puck turned over, man, they were off to the races. They looked like they wanted to score, even though they were down a man. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. The Wild have struck back with a big-time goal to narrow the deficit. You can almost feel the urgency. They know they got to get back in this. They get one. Now they only trail by one. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. The Wild have possession shorthanded. And he regains control of the puck. Quick stop by Shesterkin. There's another great save. Oh, okay, Jay, that's close. I thought this was in. I thought the forward was going to be able to get to the post first, but he's not. That's a really strong save. No room right there. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. Panino's taking it from his own end. Turn that chance aside. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Shesterkin's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Akposo's rolling along on his point streak. You know he wants it to keep going. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it to Greenway. Slides the puck across to McMichael. Here's a short pass to Petrangelo. Denies him in front. The Wild have gained control of the puck shorthanded. The Leafs certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the shorthanded goal. A sloppy power play, and they pay for it. Colton's got it behind the cage. Quick feed to Ajo. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Way off target. Oh, he leans heavy into that one. That's what an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. Hey, when there's this much traffic, James, the goalie's just going to drop into the butterfly, try and play the percentages and hope the puck hits him because he can't see it. There's so much traffic in front of the net. He doesn't find it, it doesn't hit him, and it's in the goal. Hurdles won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Dumps it into the Ozone. Toronto's through center and now in the offensive end. Quick feed to Van Riemsdyk. 
can't make it work. We expected this to be a really competitive game, and it hasn't disappointed. Now we're down the stretch, and we'll see how it turns out. Puck grab by Cajun. Here he is in close. Under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Seattle's on the calendar next. That should be a fun one. It should be. The teams play generally pretty aggressive physical games against each other. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Toronto's looking to break out. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Pushes it across to Zuccarello. Centering pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Takes the feed from the left side. With possession along the wall. Receives the pass. And now he moves it to Zuccarello. Toronto's crossed the line and on the attack. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Puglia yarby has got lots of tricks up his sleeve, but he tries there to... Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. These penalty killers are sure getting a lot of work in this period. That's the third time they've had to go to work. Toronto's got a huge opportunity on this power play. Doesn't really matter, I guess, what's happened before. This power play is at an important time in the game. They need to find a way to punch through. Here he is, shot right in front. And a solid save there as we play on. Colton's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a big time save on a big time shot. Simple stop by Grubauer. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Sends it over to Colton. Poked away at center by Proveroff. That's a textbook save by Shesterkin. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And he takes the dish. Passes on over to Petrangelo. Puck picked up by McMichael. Just a simple save by Grubauer. Klingberg's into the offensive zone now on the attack. McMichael's moving the puck through his own zone. Minnesota's got possession at center. Puck skips into the bench and will get a reset. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Minnesota's won the draw. Right through center and into the offensive zone. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. Moves the puck along the half wall. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Scoops up the puck behind the net. Quick pass to Bertuzzi. Turned aside with the glove by Grubauer. Tries to get the puck to Glenn Denning. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Poked away by Glenn Denning. And now it's grabbed by Burns. Takes a hit but still hangs on to the puck. The Leafs look to start the transition game. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Johnson. Great heads up play with the stick by Tanev. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Here we go, two on one. And he rings the post. So close to this game being untied, but a really good chance hits the pipe and stays out. Moves it quickly over to Johnson. Minnesota's got the puck. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Here's a chance. And he makes the save. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Slides the puck over. Carlos got it in the offensive zone. Here's a centering pass. And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. Truba's got the puck in his own zone. Through center along the wing. 
Now over to DeKaiser. Pokes it away in his own end. Puck scooped up by Miller. Moves it to Oposo. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. And no! That's a race to the post. The goalie gets there first. They read the play as well as the players, and that's an excellent stop. And he turns that one aside. Nearing the final minute of regulation. Poked away by Klingberg. Here's a short pass to Greenway. The Wild have the puck against the boards. The Leafs take possession in the neutral zone. And now he tries to get it across to McMichael. Minnesota's got the puck behind the net. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. And he puts that one aside with ease. There's the whistle. We get a face-off after the goalie covers up. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Denies him! He got all of it! Shesterkin's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Nice feed. Provorov's got it in the defensive end. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Takes a shot, and that goes off a body. And he comes up with it. the horn regulation comes to an end and we are still tied overtime is looming and we'll bring it to you in moments choices on social media as to who will be the hero here in overtime. Let's find out who's got the game on their stick. Sudden death overtime is underway. Let's get the call. Hey, that power play in overtime, does it change things. What a great chance to put this game away. Huge opportunity looming here on the man advantage. Oh, thank you very much. A power play in overtime, a chance to put this game away. You've earned the power play. Now you want to make sure that you cash in. Quick feed to Tanev. Can't make the connection on the pass. And now it's over to Johnson. The Leafs move it in. Here's a chance. Great save by Grubauer. Quick pass to Bertuzzi. And turns aside the slapper with ease. And the puck's put it away. They are swarming around like bees here in the Ozone. Picked up along the boards. There's a pass. Pressure save right there. A chance to clear here. And off the boards they go and ease the pressure. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Taken by Johnson. Can't get it to go. He grabs the puck here. Justin in front. Nice job to escape the zone. The Leafs have it behind the net. And now he angles it across to Bertuzzi. He says, let's get physical on that play. And rings the Johnson's going to need earplugs every time he shoots the puck. All he hears is the ping off the goalpost. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. He's got the game on a stick! What a save! The bench will run straight beside me. What a great stop by the goaltender. Big time stop! Strong fundamental save there. You make the save, you get it to the corner. That's puck control.
puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. Razor, they're getting the second ovation from the crowd. Did you guys have this when you were playing? No, we had none of this. Nobody saluted the fans back like this. There seemed to be no real connection to who was watching and who was playing. Well, that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. See ya.